the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he got up and went. Now there was an Ethiopian, Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace Queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home, seated in his chariot. He was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then a spirit said to Philip, Go over to his chariot and join it. So Philip ran up to it and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. He asked, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this, Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, like a lamb silent before its shearer. So he does not open his mouth, and his humiliation and justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, About whom, may I ask, does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip began to speak, and starting with the scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. As they were going along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, here is water. What is to prevent me from being baptized? He commanded the chariot to stop, and both of them, Philip and the eunuch, went down to the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away. The eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Azidos. As he was passing through the region, he proclaimed the good news to the towns until he came to 